Hello everyone, this is our 2011 Audi R8 5.2 Quattro, 25,702 miles. It is a gated six-speed manual. Carbon on the exterior, looks really nice. Gloss black, I do apologize for the wind. The weather today has been absolutely crazy, so please bear with me. The hood just absolutely looks like a mirror. It's fantastic. Not really any wear on the front. It does have just a few small spots that are really difficult to see. Barely, barely any chips at all. Looks really nice. Front driver's side fender area. I am aware this is part of the hood. But the fender area here looks great. Front driver's side wheel. No rash, no issues. Carbon mirrors. Looks great, no issues. Driver door. Perfect. Carbon side blades. Perfect as well. Driver rear quarter panel. No flaws anywhere there. Rear driver side wheel. No issues around to the back. We do have what looks like um, a few bubbles. I don't know if that's clear. Yeah, that's clear bra. There's a few bubbles in that. So the car is clear bra. Um, but the back end looks fantastic. You see some of the clear bra there. But yeah, the back end looks great. Really no issues. Side, looking at the rear quarter, no issues there. Rear passenger wheel, no flaws. Passenger carbon side blade and fuel door, no issues there. Passenger door, looks good. Passenger mirror, no issues. Front passenger fender area, looks great as well. Oh, there is one scratch here, and the front passenger wheel also looks great. Typically, I'd walk around a vehicle from a one foot distance to give you a better big picture idea of the overall condition of the vehicle. However, this car doesn't really have any flaws. I think we found one scratch and that's it. So I walk around it from a wider point of view so you have a better uh, aesthetic perspective of the car. You can see maybe what it might look like if you're on the vehicle and it was waiting for you in your garage or out on your driveway. We do also have a comprehensive photo listing of this vehicle. So if this video doesn't quite cut it, please check out the sales listing. You can see the uh, 50 or so photos that we have of this car. Showcasing just about every inch of it. So let's have a look at the interior. We have black leather interior touch windows for both doors, heated power folding, auto dimming side view mirrors, power locks, auto dimming headlights, power adjustable heated leather seats, all weather floor mats. I like these seats because they hug you really nice. They're really comfortable to kind of sit back into, but the bolsters aren't so aggressive that it becomes obnoxious to get in and out of the car. Like, I don't know, a GT3 RS. Um, this car is actually really easy to sit in. Clutch in, six-speed manual. Fires right up, no issues. 25,702 miles. We have navigation and Bluetooth, single zone climate. Heated front seats, well, heated seats, there are no rear seats. Adjustable dampening, traction control, hazards, uh, active arrow, you can lift the rear kind of flap wing, kind of whatever you want to call it. It's not quite a wing, but uh, it's like a little lip that pops up. Dash looks good, has Bang & Olufsen premium audio. No wear on the steering wheel. All of the buttons are intact and look great. This car is very well kept. I would have never guessed it was a 2011 by the condition of it. We have Alcantara from the Ampillers up. 
universal garage door remotes, auto dimming rear view mirror with uh, a compass. I mean, the upholstery looks great. Everything in the car just looks super nice. It's very well taken care of. No wear on the steering wheels or any, any of the buttons. And the engine back here, 5.2 liter V10. All the carbon goodies. Idles really smooth, sounds really, really good. car sounds incredibly mean. That V10 never gets old. It sounds so good and when you're driving the car's under load it's even better. Never get tired of that sound. All kinds of carbon in the engine bay. For a supercar, it's honestly really comfortable. Um, it's just a really, really great car for the money. The driving experience is awesome. It sounds great. Um, it drives really well for being a manual. It's just an awesome car that's really, really difficult to not enjoy. So that is our 2011 Audi R8 5.2 Quattro. If you have any questions, please feel free to check out this vehicle on our website at exoticmotorsportsok.com. Thank you for watching.